there are 106 billionaires in India. In terms of numbers of billionaires, our country comes in at fourth after USA, Germany and China. Despite the existence of 106 such individuals who earned more than a billion dollars in the year 2019, two-third of the Indian population, around 60% of the total people live in poverty and 32% of this population lives under one dollar a day. The current pandemic the current pandemic has brought into the limelight the government's inability to tackle the problem of poverty over the past six years that they have been in power. Poor people are dying of hunger and thirst rather than being infected by a virus. The people are suffering while billionaires are profiteering through a global pandemic. We all have heard about the plight of the migrant workers, so in this video we are not going to discuss about that. But they are abandoned by their government. Despite the need for solving the plight of the migrant workers all over the country, the finance minister, who shall be unnamed in this video, has announced abysmal plans for dealing with the economic problems that were laid bare by this pandemic. The economic problems were there, but we have come to know about the because of the pandemic. Well, one of these abysmal plans includes the selling or privatization of various public sector undertakings to try and bring them bring in more money this might be uh, beneficial in the short term but will make services less accessible to the vast majority of indian citizens and will eventually cause more harm than good well in this video we will learn how to save the economy while maintaining a steady growth and not even sacrificing the public sectors wow amazing Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! India has 106 billionaires as of 2019. The top 60 in that list have collectively accumulated around 337.6 billion USD dollars all in 2019. Let us assume that the bottom 46 people even accumulated 1 billion each on an average. That gives us a total of 383.6 billion USD dollars. Converting it to INR rupees as per Google data for 30th May, that figure becomes 28,97,069 Lamao crore 95,20,000. Did you hear the epic Lamao after the 69? Well, it's not my fault if your school didn't teach you to Lamao after the word 69. Schools should teach to Lamao after hearing the number 69. You get it? Because it's the weed number. Now to be fair, that's a lot of money being held by only 106 people in this country. We have 1.35 billion people. These 106 people have that much money. Since these pigs do not contribute positively to society and are the main reason for wealth disparity on our great country, Dojev Stalin's solution is to kill these parasites and seize all their money, assets, properties and invest this huge sum of money for the welfare of the Indian citizens that have toiled under these wretched beings only for us to be looted of our full value of labor. Yep, you heard it right. I called for the killing of the billionaires that are nothing more than parasites on our country. Poor people suffer every day because the accumulation of wealth at one end of society is at the same time accumulation of misery, agony of toil, slavery, ignorance, brutality and mental degradation at the opposite end of society. Thus, your favorite billionaire, no matter how cool they are, must die. We could use this huge sum of money to invest in or at least a fraction of that money could be invested in the failing public sector which the current government has allowed to fail in most cases making education, healthcare and all other services which should be available to the public by the government less and less accessible to the people. Well, the economic growth will be slow not drastic but it will be steady and ever increasing.
well there won't be any uh, fear of recession the growth will be ever increasing and steady none of that falling down stuff the pandemic has shown us the corona virus pandemic has shown us that capitalism has neither the capacity nor the morality nor the ethics to solve the problems of poverty inequality malnourishment and injustices that happen to poor people on a daily basis to name a few